Um, I don't know the engine capacity. I'm trying to look up here, but Mercedes is not saying anything. Welcome to Mooning Cars Review. How you guys are doing? Perfect, I guess. So into this video, I'm going to review cars up there in Massachusetts. Um, so let's jump into the video, you know, and see what are the new stuff that they have there. Don't forget guys, hit the thumbs up button if you actually like what I do. It helps the video grows. It helps the video appear in um, other users um, home um, stuff, you know, like when you open your channel or you open the, the app, the videos that pops up, it helps um the videos that i do appear in you know people's search bars or search results or whatever you want to call it so please hit the thumbs up comment in the comment section if you see anything that you know that i maybe probably made a mistake or you see your car that you like whatever the case is you know let's get this um channel interactive okay so let's jump into the video quickly Oh, this is a Toyota Camry. And guess what? This one is the V6 XLE. What do we have here? Transmission problem cannot get in park. Hmm. I'm gonna ask for the keys and we're gonna see what's going on. But let's go around. We have sunroof. Of course, it's an XLE, so it tells you that it sits, you know, comfortably, you know, on the highest, um, not the highest, but you know, it sits above um the LE you know the se okay so let's see if we can open this one manually to show you guys in the back all right we have clean leather seats it's actually clean guys i must admit we have the sunshade in the back that's good we have um cup holders with an armrest easy access to your trunk clean head liner and this is how it looks from the front you have um the navigation of course back in 07 you know the navigation was not as sweet and you know easy as how it is today so of course the screen resolution would not be good you know but you wouldn't have the 3d and all of those um high-tech stuff that you have today but back then of course they had navigation and they could navigate their way from point a to point b spare tire jack everything is right here you have the cargo net that's good let's go ahead and show you guys um so we have a rib right here in the, in the seat nothing much we have the wood trim um interior that's nice you know we have um one level heater seats of course storage right there let's go ahead and show you guys the v6 baby is that the 2 GRFV? My guess is yes. That's the 2 GRFE. Yep, this is it. Your reliable 2 GRFE. I think it's a 3.5 six cylinder. So there you have it. It is they're selling it for $3,250 because it cannot get into park. So that's why. Well, let's go ahead and look for another one hey since we're here let's look at this van this should be um a savannah if i'm not mistaken or okay i'm seeing 3500 maybe i might be mistaken so we have the um the um um what's the name the under coating that you don't want to use for rust i'm seeing it here all right It's locked. It's like somebody's interested in it. But we have good tires. We have um, Arroyo, Arroyo tires. Okay. Eco Pro HT. Is this one open? No, it's locked. Okay. Okay. Right, it's open. So I don't know who locked that thing. So I, I don't know, I have to climb up in here and get you guys. Over there. Can I open this thing right here quickly? Nah. I cannot. So um this is how it looks from the back. Okay. 
it was a work truck it's still um designed to be a work truck so if you're getting it you can probably continue you have the cb um cb radio i don't know if it still works but there you have it go ahead dispatch i'm right here at the parking lot can you tell me which load i'm about to take you know stuff like that it's the stuff you communicate with your dispatch officer and um let's go ahead and go to the driver's seat show you guys how it looks tire's not too bad um it's eating up from right here not something bad okay it looks clean i love the color to be honest i love the green okay we have a little um pink peel right there okay dog tape um not nah, masking tape holding the few door all right open this up and this is how it looks okay this is your um not in fun there's nothing fun about this one this is your typical work truck take you from place to place to do your delivery and that's about it can we open this thing yes we can so there you have your the engine all right now this ac unit looks relatively brand new okay this fan unit looks very new i must admit battery is also brand new okay the engine itself looks clean power steering reservoir is brand new as well engine looks dry of course the engine is um pushed on of the cab so there's not much you can see but the engine looks clean and nice four thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars can give you this thirty five hundred so let's go ahead and look for another one so next is a honda crv all right what year is this i don't know but um this one's these ones came from 2007 upwards i'm not sure okay this is a 2011 okay that's not bad how much is it going for there's no price okay we have clean seats i love the color of the seats i must be honest with you guys so um going up to the 2011 year model you um notice a change you know in the the design of the radio you know to suit the um, steering as well to suit you know the incoming generation so that's an armrest here and a cup holder there's sunroof and this is how it looks from the front it doesn't look bad at all we have the all right we have the cargo um separator so you can store stuff up here as well as under there that's good this is how it looks these people need to be careful got people walking all around here can be riding the cars like crazy but overall it looks clean let's go ahead and um, so the lot is full guys so if you're hearing um people you know in the back it's because people are inspecting the cars as well so let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what's going on um it's the ivy tech of course it's, it's, it's honda's um engine that is very um okay um honestly this engine uh, it's dirty that's for a fact but um the thing about engine guys is um you don't get deceived you know by the looks of the engine okay it's the performance of the engine you know that um that um that's the judge okay you judge the engine based on the performance you don't judge the engine picks based on the looks so if the engine looks dirty or not you don't judge the engine based on that but i can tell you for a fact that these engines are reliable tried and tested people are um living testimonies to these engines so um let's go ahead and look at another one next is a mercedes uh this should be an e350 
Uh, let me walk around and see. Okay, this is an E550 for Matic. Okay, so um, let's walk around. I like the color. The color is actually clean. We have the um, parking sensors in the back. Yep, a little bit of, you know, um, side moldings, you know, and stuff to make it, you know, that sportier design. Let's go ahead and walk in. Wow. Black interior. And it smells good. Smells perfect. Um, black interior head, um, sunroof. And this is how she looks from the front. This is the E550, guys. You have the privacy sheet. So you have the privacy sheet right here that, um, you know, it works electronically. It's not, um, done manually. Right. All right, we have power. What year is this? We are running on a 2010 Mercedes E350, E550, I'm sorry, guys. All right. This is how it looks. One touch, it opens. Big ass storage. Various modes right here. The wood trim interior slides. Okay, you have a bunch of stuff right here. I don't know what are those. I'm not gonna check it out. So let's check the belly of the beast. Seven thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. My guess this should be maybe a high mileage car. That's why it's being so cheap. This is your old V8. Okay. This is not a bi turbo. This is your regular naturally aspirated V8. Okay. Um. I don't know what um. I don't know the engine capacity. I'm trying to look up here, but Mercedes is not saying anything. I don't know what um, what it is, but this is your old V8, and this is how it looks. Um, your 2011 or 2010 Mercedes E550, and this is how it looks. I told you guys in the previous video that we did with the terrain. Okay, it's actually sold. I mean, I just couldn't do it. Okay, I. Just couldn't do it, guys. The, the sound the engine was making, you know, every everything about it, you know, I just couldn't do it. My guts, my guts, um, were not, um, was not, you know, giving me that, that willpower, you know, that, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't telling me to do it. So I went ahead and you know and canceled it. I didn't buy it, and somebody bought it, as you can see, sold. So, you know, good luck to the person. It's a clean car, clean outside and inside, fully loaded sunroof push to start i'm um, not push to start but factory um remote start automatic tailgate what have you i um, reverse camera but i just couldn't do it but it's so good luck to the person so let's go ahead and look at another one thanks for watching this video guys hope you enjoy the content hope you enjoyed the video hope you saw a car that was interest interesting to you you know and just let me know um uh, whatever whatever questions you have uh for those of you who always comment in the comment section asking for location of the place and name this place is in massachusetts it's called helping hands of america so all you got to do is just go to your google search or your apple um map whatever um phone or you know device that you use um if it's google go to google map if it's apple go to um apple map and just type in helping hands of america it will appear and then you can just do what you want to do right there you know and just um, hit the directions or whatever and it will take you there but the place is called helping hands of america again helping hands of america hope you enjoy the video that i do hope you enjoy the content that i create hit the like button if you like it comment in the comment section and let's make this thing you know um you know let that let, let 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 this um channel be you know interactive i want us to see people commenting you know and you know telling me what's going on so again until we meet again i'm out see you guys in another video